How's it going, fellas? My name is Otos, and this is another episode of Borderlands 2 Captain Scarlet and her Pirate's Booty. And in today's episode, we gotta take care of some bullshit. Like, just dessert for dessert deserters, which is really hard to say. Kill Benny the Booster. I don't know who Benny the Booster is or what he done to deserve death, but I've been tasked to kill him, and that's what I'm gonna do. Also, we're gonna go to Rust Yard, which I don't know where it is. Yeah, I mean, you have the description the said that. At the Magnus Lighthouse, which is uh, really shitty because the game already revealed that there's a location called Magnus Lighthouse. Also, I don't like how the bushes in this location like render as I come close to them. Maybe you can see that over there. And you can see how bushes are kind of disappearing. Look at that one in the cross here. See, it like grew as I came close to it. I don't like that. That's another glitch I found in this DLC. First was when the ground texture like broke and just looked really ugly. So we gotta kill Lenny the booster, but I actually have... I don't remember him. I don't know where he is. Or what he did to deserve death. <laughs> And I already said that I don't know where he is or what he he do. He just want like generic pirates, and he's just like in one of these locations. Benny the Booster. Oh, Benny's in that place. I mean, I already been there once, where I had to collect the pirate prosthetics. Why would they task me with going there twice? Anyway, you know what I thought. I thought of a kind of interesting, actually, it sounds really lame, it's sort of a movie idea. But it sounds like one of those really awful, goddamn, generic, not so good, family friendly movies, but let's, let's, here's what here's what I came up, there's a secret agent, right? And he's like out to get some kind of terrorist, who hid himself among like a group of, group of, like some fucking weeds or nerds or... Whoever the fuck is. And, and this is a special agent. And he needs to like infiltrate that group so he starts to like train himself to become like one of them. So he like, you know, watches anime and plays video games and bullshit like that. You know, relatable to kids. That's what kids do, right? Of course. And then throughout the movie, like, he actually grows to like those nerds, like, maybe at the beginning, he says, like, oh, nerds, I fucking hate nerds, they're fucking stupid, and then, like, for example, at the end, he busts the fucking terrorist, and then, and then the nerds are like, oh, no, he was just a special agent, not a real friend, but then he, like, actually starts to like them, and then, and then they're actually friends the end of the day. So the nerds actually have like a really cool badass friend who's a special agent. And they're not like looked upon anymore since they're hanging out no with such a badass. That was my old cook. Tried to poison my food six times before he realized I always make my puppies test my food for me. So we need a booster. We gotta kill like more of these people or is it just like one character we gotta kill? Deckhand. Sounds like Poop Dick. That was a character in pre sequel. He showed up for like one second and died, and. because he got killed by a door. And then he dropped a really cool Oskit. Shame this game doesn't have Oskits, they were way better than uh, Relics. Seems like all the characters are already around here. Couldn't I get this quest when I was still going around Oasis? It would make it easier. That's for sure. Damn it, where is Deccan? Don't tell me he's like in a hole. You can't be serious, he's in a different location? Why would they do that? I don't want this to be like so complicated and long. I already started. This texture still is fucking weird, it didn't load. Look, there's like no texture on the ground. I don't know, it looks stupid. Ah, my god, so maybe this episode will be longer than I anticipated. If I ever see that movie made, I'm gonna 
fuck to do whoever make I'm gonna sue them but that was my idea I made the movie give me a million dollars or something movie budget's like 10 billion dollars I can fuck it. give me a million dollar for the idea right I don't know it sounds kind of garbage and the movie fucking budget would be like I don't know, twenty dollars in a Big Mac or something. Twenty dollars in a pair of sunglasses, so you can actually make someone look like a special agent. Ah oh, man, God! At least good thing about this is that I don't have to go around it like I did before. And there's a fast travel station over here, so we can just kind of immediately go back and I'll have to go to Oasis again. I don't know. I feel like they should have given me this quest uh, before. I wouldn't have to like go to this location again. Two badass just next to each other. And that badass doesn't mean anything to me anymore. But still, at least enemies don't die with like one shot. That gun has like more fucking damage than my SMG. But my SMG's upside is that it has a lot of high fire rate. I'm engaged, don't do that. Breeding noise. People have been speculating that since in the trailer there's no... There's, you have only seen two Vault Hunters from the this game, right? Maya and Zero. And there was like a sign with six Vault Hunters and four of them were crossed out. And people have been speculating, maybe the other four Vault Hunters are dead now. You can see that as a possibility. But I don't think it's the case. I think what's actually the case is that they just reused the texture because that texture is in other games too. Specifically in the first one. Why would you murder children? Poop dick actually didn't look all that bad. He looked pretty cool. I would have killed so many people, but thankfully Toothless Terry, I believe, is actually in the Rust Yard. See, if they give me this look, this mission while I was like exploring Oasis in this place, it would be cool because I could have done them on the way there, but you know, I wouldn't have to backtrack myself. But they didn't do that. They didn't give me this quest. Unfortunately. I really hate how and Borderlands 1, there was a lot of moments where I just... I wanted to do main quests, so before I do main quests, I wanted to finish all the side quests I had available and I actually could do. Then there was the problem with the fact that like every time I would finish the set of side quests, I would start doing the main mission, and then like Claptrap on the Echo Radio would just fucking tell me that the bounty board somewhere on the other side of the map has new missions for me, and I would get annoyed that, oh my god, do I have to go back now and just do these missions now? I did finish all of them, but like I said, the Borderlands 1 is just... I didn't like it when I first played it, I thought it was absolutely boring, ugly, didn't play it all that good, and the, I don't know, everything was boring about it. I only liked, I only kinda liked the art style, but like, you know, it wasn't like colorful like in this game, or at least not as colorful, it was like all grey. If you looked at this, that's how the first game looked. It's actually a screenshot from the first game, just put it on as the wood texture. Worm water. Is that somewhere I've been? Yeah, that's somewhere I've been. I don't remember these locations' names, I just remember Oasis. Cause it's a cool looking town. Probably the coolest of all the towns I've been to in this game. Maybe opportunity looks pretty cool, but opportunities. I don't know. Kinda garbage. Like if you lived in Nancy Town. It might be nice in there and stuff, but you now you would have to be a Nancy. That, that's kind of a downside. Let's go to Rusty Arden and just have get it over with. To be honest, Rusty Arden, like every other goddamn location you go in this game requires you to obviously go all around the place just to get to something that's really close when you first enter the area. That seems to be a thing happening in this game, you know. 
Better location. You think that the objective is like really close and you could easily get to it. But then something breaks and you can't get to it. And you have to like go all around the damn map until you find like an alternative way to get to it. And it's really annoying. And then you like unlock an easier path and use it every other time. It's only like the first time you have to do it. And there's a lot of pirates around here. I'm just gonna ignore them. And I could have fucking ignored every single pirate in this game. In the ZLC at least. Activate the gate. Yeah, I get it. Don't tell me what to do, game. I do what I want. Alright, activate the gate. Game, tell me, please. Take it back. Take it back what I said. Got an enemy behind. Oh, there's the switch, okay. Look like every other chat in the game. Damn, I don't really don't like how this SMG has such a ridiculous zoom. Does every gun has like a zoom like that? This look has like a little bit of a zoom. My robot flies through walls, but that's normal. Sniper rifle, I'm not even checking. Shotgun doesn't have that much of a zoom. The SMG just like zooms in like crazy. A sniper rifle, check this out. Yeah, it does really zooms in like a sniper rifle, except it doesn't do that stupid overlay thing, so it looks like you're looking through a scope. There were some games that didn't do that, and they, for example, did like if you look through a scope, and then like outside of the circle, it was like a normal game. That was pretty cool. But every time, like it was realistic and pretty cool, but every time they had that, it was kind of disorienting. You'll... you'll see. Herbert, as you may expect, Captain rhymes with pervert, and that's pretty much his entire character. Remember, I, I call it lazy. Oh, he doesn't even look interesting, he looks like me. Crazy Earl. Don't say anything. He even had so much foreshadowing that... that this guy's a pervert. Could have at least not make it obvious that he's an absolute pervert and you will have to. None of those two guys I was complaining about. He didn't do this thing and they just like shield themselves. It's really annoying. So I believe power monkeys aren't like in the normal mode. Wait a minute, I'm playing on the normal mode, never mind. I guess I confused them with the scavengers. Like an enemy that only appears when you play on higher levels. There are many different enemies. Like when you play on Ultimate Hulk Hunter mode. Or does it only change for. Or does it only change for. for True Vault Hunter? And this guy is also annoying because what he does. Actually, no, there's like. How are these things called again? I don't remember. He disappeared now, I don't even know. But there's also a harp harpoon man, and he like attacks you and like pulls you towards him. That isn't so bad to be honest, but it's still kind of annoying. It's like when you have a shotgun, it just makes it easier to kill him. And it just so happens that I do have a shotgun. But I just for some reason don't use it because I'm a. Uh, Stupid idiot. You know, with all these things I'm doing, when I finally get to the last DLC, which is Tiny Tina's, I thought some Dragon Key, then it's probably gonna be even easier than anything else. So you can see, just because my gun says that it does 800 damage, doesn't mean it actually does. When you apply all the stuff that I have, like, increased. This damage, increased fire rate, increased gun damage, maybe some perks that increase my SMG damage and stuff. Then it turns out there's a lot of things that actually make me tougher than I am. I see a chest there, how do I get to it? One thing I kinda hope for in this DLC is that I'm 
I think it's in here. No. Is that, you know, maybe the... I don't know why I shot myself. Fuck. I'm a massive here. I just want to get the chest. It's kind of how the Master Geef fight looks, you know? It's basically always crows. Crows, that's how it's said. Fucking shit, I can't, oh whatever, fuck it. I don't care, that is a chest. Probably has garbage inside it anyway. It's garbage inside it, just like me. Oh my god, I really didn't want this episode to be long, but it seems like it just has to. Because I have to go through this thing again. And I didn't know that the mission I was just doing had me gone back to previous locations. Gotta give him the treasure chest, looks pretty cool. This DLC does a lot of stuff that's like really cool. Tiny Tina's does everything pretty much. Like Everything changes about the game, you know, like character skins are different. You don't just like reuse characters. Not that this DLC reuse. There's no characters from the base game. I guess the coolest thing about the Tiny Tina's DLC is that it doesn't like introduce new characters. But instead, like reuses the already met characters, but gives them like this fantasy look to them as to the fairy. That is kind of like, you know, like you meet I don't know, Mandy, and she's dressed like a, like a warrior lady. The fairy tends to be Moxie because she has like this fantasy team. That to the fairy. Sexual. Looks like that's all of them. Head on back whenever you're ready. That looks creepy enough to be Herbert's shack up there on that ledge. Damn, Scarlet, can you shut up for a moment? I'm trying to. I can change it. for a smell straight out of your nightmares. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe your nightmares, but not really mine. I'm still talking about Gage. Not exactly me. I don't know why I'm always thinking that Gage is just like a little girl running around in the world of psychopaths. She's kind of a psychopath too, but I don't know. So this game is what? Rated teen? I don't know, because I have Peggy rating and I just know that it's 18, but I don't know what it would be rated like. Adults only team in America. Wow. But I can't stop like thinking that man, if this was like a movie, for example, movies, I feel like I'd get away with more in games. Then, then she would be raped. I don't know. Probably would. It's kind of like in Mad Max. The rape in Mad Max? I don't know. The thing about Mad Max I always found weird is that I absolutely love how the movies look. The setting is, in my opinion, really goddamn cool. Hatches look cool. But every time I watch the movies, like, I really want to get into the series, I just really don't feel like watching them. It's kind of really boring. I don't even know why, because the road warrior was like. Well, probably my favorite of all of them, but still, I don't know, there was something about it that just kind of made me like, eh, whatever. Maybe I'm lying to myself that I like the setting and characters. Maybe I'm like, living in the past and I would like them if I was like, I don't know, five years younger. I don't know. Also, isn't it? That... That looks like the Star Destroyer deck. You see that? I think it was intentional, look at this thing. Star Destroyer deck, here we go. Have an easter egg. Thought there was gonna be a chest, but there's no chest. So here's Herbert, he oh, even has a banjo. Hold on a second! Scarlet? Is that you? Herbert. Just a little bit obsessed. Oh, you're not Scarlet. But I can taste her scent on you. She wants the last well, I can do that with my neck too. She? Except oh, I yeah. did it so many times, it's really, my you neck hurts. 
Here's Herbert, surprisingly taller than me. Maybe I'm just hunched over. So that's Herbert's thing. He has a lot of picture of pictures of Scarlet, which makes me question: Who took those pictures? Did Herbert took them? Also, in this picture, she has like both of her feet. I'm not into feet, but I guess for some people it could be cute. Hot, I don't know. But in the game, I think she has like a wooden leg. So now other pictures of her. The more piercing than I thought. Creepiest parts are these dolls because you can squish them and they do a thing. There's like Scarlet with someone next to her. There's like her on the chair. Some of these are really blurry, but you can make out what they look like. A lot of these I think might have been like concept designs. Like for example, they had like a designer, right, of the game, and they told them to just like draw Scarlet in a lot of sexy poses. Like here's her sitting naked. I bet if it was in higher quality you could actually see the naughty bits. Another picture she's like with her bird, so I I imagine she These weren't meant for her. See she doesn't have a leg over here. I don't know, she's doing this cute pose but she has like a huge hook hand. I don't know. Do you think Scarlet might come back in Borderlands 3? So far, no one has really seen her or anything. God bless this house. My AK will protect it. It's such a fucking lame thing to say. If I help you complete the compass, Scarlet will be so happy. Oh, yes. But no. She looks like compass she's kind of like Crazy Earl, but just without being voiced by Randy. Tape. Which means he has kind of a yes. better voice. Get the tape. Get the Even tapes. his scarlet heart on, your on his shirt. Yeah, so we gotta collect some garbage for him. Of course, it's pretty much the entire game. You want something? Then, well, you gotta go and do something else for someone different. And you gotta run around all over the goddamn world. Solving bullshit quests. I don't know. I don't care. I feel like I'm fucking depressed. I think I'm the press, mate. I was gonna record God of War this today too, but now uh, this video might not be so long. God of War episodes usually don't end up being long, they're like 20 minutes. I feel like I could have made them longer because sometimes like 20 minutes and it's pretty much like I did absolutely nothing in an episode. You know, like God of War seems like a game that I could have finished in like. Episodes, but I'm gonna do it in like 30 and for no reason because I made episodes really short. At first, I thought I would go like each episode from one safe point to another, but then quickly it turned out that it's kinda, I kinda can't do that really because. Because if I did that, then. Then it would just be even shorter. The one thing I hate about this location is that you later get a quest when you have a quest which tasks you with coming back to this location. And well I find that kind of annoying because I would like to just do everything as I go along with this place, but I can't. I don't know why I can't. Oh shit. Perfectly calculated jump. What? Me dying? But she actually co commented on my death. Which isn't canon, so it's not true. So when I first heard that, and I kind of got, oh my god, am I real? What if I'm a digital reconstruction? What happened, by the way? Why is like the marker was just here on the ship? And now it's another like, four markets in different spots. I don't know what happened, mate. I assume something stupid. I think what happened is that there were all these recordings on the ship, but nothing can be too easy in this game, so they blew up and scattered all over the goddamn location, and now I gotta go everywhere. And I don't like it. 
I'm engaged, stop making that noise. Can't just, I can't turn off the breathing voice lines, right? Scarlet, I wrote you a haiku. Well, Thero would appreciate that. You got a nice butt. You also got a nice chest. Your face is okay to no. It's only okay. I don't even know how many syllables have to be in a high I don't even care. Man, boy, man, you suck. Quit throwing me off the cliff. Stupid sons of bitches. I mean, come on. And they got their health back. Alright, no. Quit fucking asshole, I swear to god. The absolute worst character in this whole fucking game. No, oh, not really. In this whole DLC, it's like the worst enemy. Now let's go and kill them all. So far, enemies are pretty easy, so my robot is like no problem with it. This is a quest. But I find that like ex accessing the quest is kind of annoying. Like, you can see that it's over there. Oh, wait, you can do that. Hold on, I. Oh, wait. Let's be very specific, apparently. Oh, nice. I just had a problem with it and I end up jumping, like, over here. There's a bottle over here, and I would just find it annoying how it's... Like, no normal way to get there. So, Robert, couldn't you, like, fly and just kill each enemy? Couldn't you like go on your own and just start murdering? Instead of depending on me, trigger the enemy. It's quite true, there's not a giant robot flying around and they would just come out and start shooting. Alright, you know what? We can untag this quest and keep this one active so I can. Remember where these things are? I know where the treasure is, I remember it. Don't worry. A pizza? A pizza? Man, I would eat a pizza. I'm kinda hungry. Nah, I think about it. I don't know why I did at school I, I was eating cake with the security guard. So they asked me to help him get all the cake to some back room, and I did. And I ended up eating it with him. It was very nice. We talked. Also, some. What the hell? Oh, come on, how hard it is to check if this texture was put it right. I guess it was really hard. Because it doesn't work. And I ate it with him, and it was nice. Do you think Herbert and Crazy Earl could be friends since they're like pretty similar to each other? Why is she snorting? It's nice to you. This concludes the sounds of Scarlet sleeping. Ooh. Tape number 48. So he was recording her sleeping. Oh crap. Okay, that's pretty creepy. What they're saying, oh yeah, would they be good friends? It's robot fighting time! When you think about it, they're both pathetic and crazy. Which for different reasons, but it doesn't change that they're crazy. Look, my robot broke. My robot is like always in the foreground, it's very strange. If you don't remember the last recording, he they found out that Captain Blade is a pussy and never killed anyone, and they got mad. I mean his crew, and they oh shit, I just cancelled. She's so honorable. Through my telescope, I saw her give him a gun to defend himself. As she ran him through with her sword, I knew, I knew she's 
the one. She's the one what? She's the one orgasmatron? And some other hit song. And we wasn't saying Yeah, but they tried to kill him. Because he was like a fierce fire that at least they believed he was. He actually never killed anyone and always make him like escape and be free. And Should I discord? And then if he wanted to let them just kill him because he's such a nice guy, he'd rather die than kill his crewmates. But he didn't. He ended up killing every single one of them. And I was a pistol who actually that had actually higher damage than mine. Let me see it again. This one is higher damage. I don't give a crap because it's kind of shit. Okay, this is mixtape number two hundred six. Promised myself, I and if I didn't, then now I promise myself. I won't use Jacob re revolvers anymore oh, unless it's a Maggie because Maggie. Oh God! Did you find one of the songs? It's going to re, yeah? Star Destroyer again. Here we go, easy enough. Went through this whole place. And you may be questioning, so what, every time you go this way, you gotta go through all of this? Oh no, because there's, actual, there's actually an elevator that leads almost ex <coughs> exactly to this house. It's over... See, that's where we begun. We went up there and like through this gate. Well, there was like a lift. It's not even an elevator, it's a lift. That would just lead me over here. And then I go and take this elevator and then go up here. And I just go straight to Herbert. Also, last time I played through this DLC, I forgot to activate the lift. And when I came back here, I had to go through this again. Once you deliver those with Which was the last annoying. piece of the compass, Scarlet will have to take me back. The last compass piece is in that chest. See, this is probably my most hated part of this game. You want to open the chest, right? Seems easy enough. Last, is it last, the third piece? Scarlet had one. Sandman had one. Hyperion had one. Last piece of the compass is in this chest. All I have to do is open it, bring it to the lighthouse, find out where the treasure is. Oh no, it's rusty, rusty. Just shoot it's, the lock. It's locked. <laughs> Let's shoot the lock. Sounds easy. We've been shooting everything this whole game. And what did that do? It broke the piece. Oh, your shot destroyed the last piece of the legendary compass. Okay, this is just this is just lazy. It's not even like funny, like, oh my god, I destroyed a piece of the compass that was so legendary and unique. That's so funny. It's not even funny, it's actually incredibly annoying because now I gotta go to a Hyperion base just to find glue, bring this glue back to this glue sniff and piece of shit, and then, and then he puts the piece back together. So it's like another part of this goddamn. Oops. DLC I gotta go through. And not like I don't like, like it. The lock, Even the mission is called Whoops. Compass piece into bits. Okay, this is bad. Oh my god. No, wait! Uh, I can make a replacement! I just need parts. Just get to the Washburn Refinery. Go, go, go! Washburn Refinery, that's where we gotta go. Then that's where I will go. Ho ho ho. Oh yeah, let's activate this. Just so I won't have to go to this shitty location ever again. Also, the shotgun, if you haven't seen my Easter special... Last time I had a different shotgun, but I found uh, during the Easter special where I just simply went through... I just simply went through Digistruct Peak. Which is an Easter team, but there's no Easter team headhunter in this game, so I just went through the Destruct Peak. I found this shotgun from one of the assassins. I don't know what it's called, let's check it out. Steady Dog. Ready Steady Dog. It's pretty cool. It was more the same as my last shotgun. 
if it's not that big of an improvement, just like the same gun. Warm water, let's go turn in this quest, see if I get any other quests. And end the episode. And that's it. And I'll go and cry. For no reason really, I just like to cry myself to bed. Scarlet, will you tell me something cool? For a second I considered splitting the treasure with you 50-50, but I was like, ah. Eh, I'm gonna take it all. So you just like straight up tell it to my face and you're gonna betray me. Also, you know what? When I first watched the trailer for Borderlands 3, like the first trailer that came out, one thing I noticed that it seems like most people don't notice, and it's kind of, my, in my opinion, like the defining feature that proves that Borderlands 3 really is next gen is facial animation. Look at fucking Scarlet's facial animation. Stole it from its original owner, Mutiny. Very bloody and slightly hilarious. I just almost know none of the animations. She just moves her mouth and eye, and she just stands still you came out here this whole time. For treasure, huh? She doesn't here. even like turn to look at me. I spent years building a pirate empire to track down the treasure, and you'll probably find it within the next few hours. But I won't hold that against you. Uh, what can I say? I'm the main character. It's kind of what they do. Imagine playing a game, and you, know, you have to like spend years in the game. Just to achieve some really garbage. Just how unserious I was being about the no fatties thing. I actually prefer overweight men. They said his place was an I don't know what you're talking about. I think she said it last episode. We got one more quest. See Jolly Roger. Ah, uh, Jolly Roger. Why? Jolly Roger is actually a really cool shotgun. I was kind of hoping I get to use it, but it seems like well, it's six levels lower. That's the weird thing, like, Headhunters DLC actually do scale up with me, but all these story DLCs don't. Which I don't get. Okay, so it seems like... The Rust Yard. Oh, come on, now Scooter wants garbage done for me? Well, next episode we're gonna do the Whoops mission, which will give us the Sandhawk. Which is a really cool SMG and I hope it will actually get to... I'll get to replace this one, because this one is cool. I don't know, it's... Sandhawk is cooler. Maybe I'll even get an elemental one, that would be cool. I don't know if we always come with elements, but... They should. So... See you guys later in the next episode, bye.